So where, where is all the good stuff um, <coughs> on bad guys? Where do they carry their good stuff? Right. Waistline. We can go somewhere between here and here about 90% of the time. Some of them get tricky and wear necklaces that have things attached to them. Some bitches have shit up in their hair that they'll pull out. Some guys have stuff around their ankles. But 90% of the time, it's right, right here. We want to be able to control this bit of him. Center line. On the inside of his shoulders and the inside of his hips, being able to control what he does with his body and how his, he's able to move his body. He and I are equal in controlling the center line. He has an underhook here, and I have an underhook right here. I want to have two underhooks. Right now, I can control him getting to his waist. I can get to what's there, and he can't get to what I have. This is good, because I always have guns and knives too. So, this really basic, what we're going to do to warm up is just pump. We're going to start here like this. This hand, oh, he was already, did you see his hand twitch? <laughs> he, like, he, now he can't even consciously not do it. Because like, even like we go to hug, like, yeah, what's up, dude? Oh, it's bugged up. That's, that's, that's just what happens. Um, that's how it should be. Like, it is, it's hard for me to give a hug like this to somebody with an under, like that is a, almost a painful thing for me to do is to give this underhook up, even to like one of my best friends. So this is what it looks like. We have underhook, overhook. Now look, my arm's not over his shoulder like this. I mean, that's, that's what y'all all can do, <laughs> but that's not what we do when we're fighting. We're gonna keep our elbows down. This hand's gonna swim inside as he swims his hand inside of my bicep. I'm gonna move my feet like that. Okay? Your foot that's in the front is usually the same side that you have your underhook. Our head kind of switches too, so I take my hairline and I point it towards his head. Well, I lost my underhook on this side, so I'm gonna swim this hand in here again and try to get that in there. Ah, man, I <coughs> his hand in. Let's swim that hand in. This is it. We are just pummeling and teaching our body that I want to control center line and I want to get my hands on the inside of his shoulders. So grab a partner. You're gonna work with everyone in this room. Chris. Girls, you need to get used to working with guys, other girls, taller, stronger, little or bigger. Humans come in all shapes and sizes. So we're gonna start here. You're gonna take your hand, swim it in as he swims his hand in. And you're just gonna keep moving. Just keep moving. And go. You're gonna also keep your elbow down. Oh, I don't roll anymore. Yeah, great. Well, I know, you have two unhooks. So swim this arm in. Right here. There we go. Well, now I have two underhooks. Oh. Yeah, there you under so as, me under There we go. Now switch. <laughs> yeah, swim that in there. Swim that in there. Oh, now you have but two now underhooks. now I've got two underhooks. There we go. Okay. Now swim to the other side. There you go. No. Swim to the other side. <laughs> All right. All right, so you, you guys are standing um, like a... Uh, Feel bright? Feel bright, go ball. Like this. Okay, what I want to do is simulate as if I'm getting ready to fight. Because this is going to turn into a fight. But more importantly, we're moving our feet. Getting like, you don't see a boxer stand here like this and try to box, right? It's all about football. It's the same here. So he has, he has an underhook on this side. This hand is going to swim in as he swims his hand in. What's up? I'm going to swim this hand in. This hand in. This hand in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So underhooks are not just the only way to control center line. They are a great way. We were all grappling yesterday and it was like a big sweaty mess in this room. And we not only were fighting for underhooks while we were standing, but we were also fighting for collar ties, cross collar ties, bicep control, wrist control. All of these things control center line. And that's, that's the intent. The idea is that we can control center line. So as we're pummeling, I also want you now to include bicep blocks and collar ties. So instead of just swimming this hand in, as I switch sides, I'm just gonna black his bicep, which gives me control of center line. And then as we switch to the other side, I can just bicep block. Collar tie. Collar tie. 
Underhook. Oh, hey, that correct? Mm-hmm. You hear it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, good. It's a uh, first time. One hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> so as you pummel, understand that you can add other things like just wrist control with underhooks, with collar ties, with bicep blocks to all control center line. This hand, I'm just making like a C, like a C clamp, like this. <laughs> and it's going right below his bicep, above his elbow, into that small, um, so this spot right here, like that, you want to wedge your hand, that C clamp, into that bicep. And that bicep is gonna stop my hand from going up, and the elbow and meat muscle of the forearm is gonna stop it from going down. So you're locking it in here to block it. The collar tie, this hand, goes up to the crook of his head, right here, and my elbow pushes into his chest as my forearm pushes into his shoulder and his clavicle as I pull his head down with my hand. This gives me control of center line. So he's gonna have to swim his hand in here to recover it. So now, I'm, well now we're 50-50. I have a collar tie and he has an underhook. So maybe I switch to a bicep block with this collar tie. And then he's like, okay, I'll address this collar tie. Oh, got rid of that. Now he has a collar tie and locked over, over, um, overhook. So a lot happens just to control the center line. <laughs>